Every vinyl fanatic has them, those cherished records that are the holy grails of their collection. So today, I'm going to show you my own vinyl grail picks from my own collection. All of that, coming up. So I want to state this right away. Not all of these grail picks are super expensive, worth a fortune, that kind of a thing. These are my grail picks, so they're meaningful to me, but maybe they're also meaningful to you. Um, let me know in the comments either way. Um, also, these are original releases, more or less. There are definitely no reissues. These are definitely the year of release. So I'm pretty excited to bring these to you. Um, also, a few of these I, I've mentioned before, but they are grail picks, so they need to be mentioned again. So there's that. In short, they're the records I'm psyched to have, and I'm even more psyched to have still hung on to them all these years later. So definitely, let's look at my grail picks. First up is Anthrax with their debut album, Fistful of Metal. And this isn't the very, very first pressing. Uh, you might know that the logo in that one, in the earliest copies, is pink because the printer made a mistake. And it did get corrected here. It's now in red. But um, this is still a very early press of it. It is on Megaforce. You can see that. And uh, really great album. Uh, early release for Megaforce. I'm not really excited about the Alice Cooper cover of I'm 18. Uh, great original, but their cover of it's kind of lackluster, and it kind of doesn't belong on this record. Uh, a lot of people have said that before, but definitely Anthrax, Fistful of Metal. Next up is Destruction with their debut album, Sentence of Death. This is the original Steamhammer release, uh, the German label that put it out. Uh, the U.S. label uh, copy obviously has a different cover, a uh, totally different picture of them. Uh, I just want to show the, uh, the disc label. It is on Steamhammer, and uh, obviously the cover tells you that as well. I love the image here. Uh, they have everything metal all in one picture. You know, I mean, Lemmy brought us the bullet belts probably, but and Rob Halford brought us more of the, uh, the the gauntlets and the spikes and the studs and kind of thing. But you've got bullet belts, spike gauntlets, bandolier straps, inverted crosses, and satin pants. That's exciting. Uh, that covers here. It's very minimalist. You know, it's a tombstone. That's metal. Anyways, uh, destruction here. Sentence of death. So glad to get this. It's a little bit of wear here, some ring wear, but I don't care. It's a great record. Uh, they did get a little bit better as they went. I think Infernal Overkill and Eternal Devastation are better albums, but this is where it began, and it's still a great album. So there you go. Destruction. Of course, being a huge Kiss fan, i got to show this. This is the Originals. This is a release that has their first three albums all together. That's Kiss, Hot in Hell, and Dressed to Kill. And uh, there's the back. You can see the three albums there and the track listings. It's a pretty beat up copy, admittedly. There's the ring wear and stuff. Um, I bought it at Rock and Shock. It's, that's a convention in Worcester, Mass. Uh, I bought it about five years ago. I think I paid too much for it, to be honest. But it's one of those things where you see it and you're like, oh my God, I, I'm finding it in the wild. You know, when am I going to see it again that way? Uh, so I had to buy it. I just did. Uh, there's some interesting stuff here. Uh, there's the uh, folder style uh, holders here. Yeah, the uh, three albums come in these little inner sleeves, kind of cheap, but you know. And we've got the booklet that comes with it. Uh, nice booklet. Um, it's got some good pictures in it. I think the text is a little huge to buy you page space, but uh, it's definitely a nice little uh, collector's item uh, if you're a big Kiss fan. There is that. So yeah, the originals. Even though it's beat up to heck, still glad I have it. There it is. And yes, I did show this in a recent vinyl haul, but I gotta show it again. I found it. It's Creator with Pleasure to Kill. Great album. This is on Combat because it's a U.S. copy. There's the camo labels. Um, but it is originally a Noise Records release, because obviously they're German. That's the era they came out of, so Noise is going to be the right label. Uh, there is the back. Uh, a really great album. This is the album that got me into Creator, for sure. Uh, Riot of Violence, amazing track. Um, I did see them live in 92 in support of Renewal. Uh, great show. Paradise Lost was there. Morbid Angel. Incredible show. It was in Montreal. I think it was at the Spectrum. I can't remember. Uh, and I staged dove during Riot of Violence. I don't know if that's a bucket list item, but you know, it was definitely something I wanted to do. Um, fantastic album. Uh, 
still my very favorite Creator album, and still a lot of other people's favorites as well. Uh, it's a very cherished album. So, a little bit of ring wear, but I'm just psyched to have it. Anyways, Creator, pleasure to kill. I did show this on a recent top 10 video of my most expensive records. This is Marcel Fate with the Marcel Fate EP. Uh, it's on Ravon Records. Uh, I didn't show the vinyl last time. There it is. And it also does come with a lyric sheet, which looks like it was typed, as I mentioned before. Uh, great, great album. Uh, classic album. Nuns Have No Fun. First of all, great title. You want to hear that song right away. Uh, lyrics are a little juvenile. You know, it's early uh, period for this band. Um, great album. It's the uh, black uh, bordered copy. There is a white bordered copy as well. As I said before, it's worth a little bit more, but this one's still pretty sought after. Um, love it. I got this early on. I don't think this was my first Marcel Fate record. I believe that was probably Melissa. And I think I bought Don't Break the Oath right after that. So mid 80s. And I went back for this one, found it in the stores. There it is. Merciful Fate. Next up is Metal Church with their self-titled debut album. Um, this is also one of those albums where the band name, the album name, and the song name are all the same. I try to think of how many bands actually have that. I know Motorhead is one, but uh, yeah. So if you want to listen to Metal Church by Metal Church off Metal Church, here you go. Uh, I love this album. Uh, most people have the reissue when they sign to, I believe it was Elektra, and there's also a Steam Hammer version for you European folks, but this is the original Ground Zero Records release. Um, blue disc label. I know there's a red one as well. There might be a third color. I want to say purple, but I'm not really sure. But I really wanted this copy. I was really happy to get it. Um, it's cover Highway Star on here from Deep Purple. Uh, and you know my thing with covers. I'm usually pretty harsh on them. But I really like this cover a lot. I think it really uh, it works for the band. And David Wayne's voice is perfect for it. Um, love this album. Beyond the Black is probably one of my favorites. God's of Ra God of Wrath. I think it's Gods of Wrath, but they say God of Wrath on the back. Um, fantastic. Uh, Metal Church, Metal Church, Metal Church. There you go. Another entry from my top 10 most expensive records. This is Metallica with Kill Em All. This is their debut album, of course. Uh, this is the Megaforce version, as you can tell by the disc label. Um, also printed slightly off-centered. I always like to see those anomalies. Um, I like to think that makes them a little more valuable, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And there's the back. Of course, Bang That Head That Doesn't Bang. Excellent advice. Um, I love this album dearly. Who doesn't, for crying out loud? Anyways, this is Metallica with Kill Em All. And I suppose at this point, I could have picked the Overkill EP. Uh, I did show that in an earlier video, but I wanted to talk about Feel the Fire because this really is the album that got me into Overkill. I bought this album, I put it on, I was blown away. Uh, blown away in a way I hadn't been about other bigger bands. And In fact, Overkill was my favorite thrash band in the 80s. Um, and it's, they're still very, very high on my list. To this day, they're making amazing music. Uh, there's the back. Uh, classic tracks, Raise the Dead, Rotten to the Core, Hammerhead. Uh, amazing stuff. Uh, Rat Skates was in the band, and Bobby Gustus was in the band. I really like this lineup quite a bit. And uh, this is on the original Megaforce Records. Again, you'll be seeing a few of these, of course, because Megaforce was a, an amazing label that had a lot of great bands, especially thrash metal bands of the 1980s. So, yeah, Overkill. Feel the fire. Coming up next is the Queensryche EP. Uh, if you take a look at the back of this cover, you will notice the lack of an EMI stamp. That's because this wasn't the EMI reissue. This was the very original 206 Records issue. Uh, I'm guessing 206 was Queensryche's self-created label, much like Motley Crue and Leather Records. Could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I am. But love this EP. I didn't buy this first. I think my entry to Queensryche was The Warning. Uh, a killer album. If you've never heard The Warning, start there with Queensryche. But, of course, Queen of the Reich is on here. We've all seen the music video, the amazing music video with the, the space alien girl and the laser guns. and Oh my god, it's amazing. You should see it if you haven't. But, Queensryche, the EP. Still love this album to this day and so glad to have it on that original label, for sure. Switching gears a little bit here is the Rat EP. This is not the Atlantic Records reissue. Um, that one's very different. This is the Time Coast Records original. Uh, note Stephen Piercy's very puffy coat. 
it's very puffy, as a matter of fact. Uh, the Atlantic reissue has a color picture. It's a different shoot. Uh, it looks like it was shot in the out of the cellar period for them because the outfits and such. Um, and in color, as I said, uh, Piercy's tiger pants, or zebra pants, rather. Pretty great. Uh, I really love this EP a lot. You Think You're Tough is an amazing song. Uh, there's the label. It looks like Enigma also helped them distro this a little bit due to the logo there. But... Uh, yeah, You Think You're Tough was reissued as uh, a single and a music video because of the success of Out of the Cellar. So they basically shopped this. And to be honest, I bought this after Out of the Cellar. I mean, Rat got big and all of a sudden I'm like, I got to find more. And the only thing you could find was the CP. So I'm glad to have this copy. There's also a French copy on red vinyl, which I'm probably going to get sooner or later. And I might get the reissue. I don't know. Uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, yeah, by the way, those are Tawny Katane's legs, in case you didn't know, because she was dating Robin Crosby at the time. So there you go. The Rad EP. Next up, The Mighty Slayer with Rain in Blood. Uh, probably one of the greatest Slayer albums ever, though I know some people prefer Seasons in the Abyss. And there are some people who love South of Heaven the most. I don't know who you people are, but I'll let you have your opinions. Uh, this is the Slayer album for me, definitely. And to have it on vinyl, it's just amazing. I did get this back in the 80s. Um, I, I actually reacquired it, as we all know, the reacquisition story. Um, and the funny thing about this album, uh, besides the fact that it is on Def Jam Recordings, along with, uh, what is it, Public Enemy and Beastie Boys, uh, Rick Rubin had a wonderful sense of humor. But, uh, you know, it got Slayer some attention, so, you know, we let it go. But um, the one thing about this album that's interesting is that when I bought it, it had a bunch of skips on it. And the skips weren't so much scratches. Uh, I believe they just weren't cut well. Because I talked to a bunch of my other friends at the time, this is in 1986, and their copies all skipped too. And I've talked to people to this day when I mentioned this record on vinyl, and they're like, hey, did yours skip? And I'm like... Wow, still hearing about the skips to this day. But the thing I had done, and I, 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 I give a caveat here about even mentioning this, but I take my finger and I push the needle down ever so slightly. Uh, not too much because you will wreck your record, but it did take care of each and every one as I knew they were coming up. So this copy doesn't skip at all anymore. So that's a great thing. But yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe something about the initial pressings. I don't know. But anyways, Slayer, Rain and Blood. Classic Slayer. You should own it already. You know that. Switching gears once again, this is Twisted Sister with Rough Cuts. This is their debut EP. It's a four-song EP. Uh, proceeds Under the Blade, if you didn't know about this. So this is their very first release. Uh, you can see it is on Secret Records. Uh, Secret Records was an otherwise punk rock label in Britain. Uh, yes, Britain. Uh, they're an American group, so people kind of are like, what? Britain? Uh, the label existed for a little while. Uh, it folded after, I think, a year or two after this. Um, I did hear that it's around, kind of, sort of. I don't know if someone bought the name, but I've seen some punk rock reissues on it as of recent on, on the internet, so maybe they're trying to come back. I don't know if they'll try to repress the Twisted Sister stuff. Um, I believe uh, the major label that they were on, I believe it was Atlantic, probably owns that stuff and won't let them. Um, I don't know about that. Maybe so, maybe not. But this EP is really great. Uh, what You Don't Know is on here, Shoot Him Down, Under the Blade, and Leader of the Pack. These are early versions of those songs, too. These are not the Under the Blade and Come Out and Play versions, respectively. Um, Twisted Sister, great live band if you've never seen them live. Uh, I saw them on the Come Out and Play tour, um, headlining a dock and opened, and uh, it was an amazing show. But I'm really psyched to have this. I found this at a record store in Phoenix, I believe, a trip before last, not the recent one. And I think I got it for six bucks. And just really excited to have it. It's in good shape. And I didn't even know about it probably until a couple years ago. So there you go. Twisted Sister, Rough Cuts. And last but not least, the classic. This is Venom with Black Metal. This is the album that named an entire genre, even though it doesn't sound anything remotely like the modern version of the genre. Uh, here's the back with the... Uh, I'm going to say that's Japanese. Don't know why. It's there. Uh, my favorite picture is Mantis on the crotch rocket, as we call it in the United States. Uh, this, this sort of fancy, fancy motorcycle and the windblown hair. 
It's great. He should have spandex on at this point, too, but he doesn't. Uh, amazing album, uh, Black Metal. Just, I mean, we all know about it. Uh, the quote on the back is, We drink the vomit of the priests, make love with the dying whore, we suck the blood of the beast, and hold the key to death's door. Sure, why not, right? Anyways, Venom, Black Metal. Uh, I should show you the Neat Records label, the label we all love, and of course the custom center label there. So there you go. Venom, Black Metal. So those are my vinyl grails. Uh, it took a lot of hunting to find a lot of them. Uh, it took some finance to get a few, to be honest, but always well worth it. Love these albums to death. If you're interested in my most valuable albums, I do have a top 10 video on that. You should definitely check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Also, let me know your thoughts about these grails. Do you think they qualify? And what about your own grail list? What albums are you looking for or even have? Let me know all of that in the comments. Other than that, definitely like, subscribe, and share. You know, I put a lot of work in these videos and I love when people show their support. Hugely appreciated. So definitely do it. That's all for now. Take care and ever forward.